Y'all, to be honest, I forgot Facebook even existed. Forgot it even existed. And I had just come across a video on YouTube, which it's kind of an older video, I'm sure. A majority of you guys have probably already seen it. But for those of you who haven't, I'm going to be talking about it in today's video. The thing I find interesting about Eugenia Cooney that I think a lot of you guys find interesting as well, and that's why, you know, commentary channels who talk and react to Eugenia Cooney get the, you know, tension that they get from doing so because she's such an open book and a closed book at the same time. While she seems to be open to talking about everything on stream, she really closes down and doesn't get too, too deep on discussions and subjects. And it causes for a lot of speculation. One thing that has been so speculated super heavily about Eugenia is her family. Deb seems to be the main the main character, basically, when it comes to Eugenia's family, because she's the only one who's really comfortable to be on camera. She films Eugenia nine times out of ten, and the other one percent, she's on the camera with Eugenia. So she has had so much speculation and a lot of people have been questioning, trying to figure out why Deb would allow this to happen to get to this extent, why Deb enables this kind of behavior and disorder. And the thing that I find super interesting that I talked about prior is Eugenia being homeschooled by Deb. How well was her education? Because she questions a lot of things, doesn't know what a lot of stuff is called. If you see her doing house tours, she'll walk around be like, there is this saying, I'm not really sure what it is, but it's here. And it's like, sis, why hasn't your mother taught you what things are properly called? But a lot of people questioned Deb and if she had good intentions for Eugenia. Now, Eugenia said that she was homeschooled because she went through a lot of bullying early on in her life, especially from people in her school. And that's what kind of caused the whole homeschool movement. I think bullying is something a lot of people experience. It's a common thing that a lot of people go through, unfortunately. I think a lot of us can relate to our own personal past experiences with bullying whenever we hear other people talk about their experiences with bullying, but not all of us can say that we ourselves was the bully. And I've seen a theory going around saying Eugenia Cooney was basically either homeschooled, one, because the teachers were being worried about her, like started to get worried about her with her condition. And then a second theory saying Eugenia was actually the bully. And that's why she was homeschooled. And I don't know how much truth there is to either of those. Again, it's all just internet speculation. And I'm just commentating on it. But I do find the theory of her being the bully very interesting. Because while she does like to play a ditzy persona nine times out of ten, I feel like she is smarter than she lets on. She does grasp the situation with more straws than what she thinks than what we think she actually does. And I also think that she has had her fair share with bullying and being the bully. I've seen even on streams sometimes where she'll kind of bully down her fans. And that's a different subject than the videos we're going to be watching and getting into right now, which I'm sorry the intro is so long. But these videos we're about to be watching is from, I think it said around 2010, whenever she was on Facebook. And these are, you remember back in the day, people would like, we'd upload videos to Facebook for our friends. But unfortunately, it's public, public after you upload those videos to your friends. So somebody had went back to Facebook and found these videos of Eugenia Cooney talking and sending these videos to her friend back in 2010. And it's very interesting because Eugenia is giving me I'm the bully energy. Let's go ahead and watch the video. Hello. Hi, I can't believe you, you called her on the phone. She's like such a loser and she's so weird. And I think she's with Nancy. Like, ew, why would you talk to her? I can't believe you called her. I hope you didn't tell her to come to my house because... That would be like, like, you know, she did that once and that was like really weird. You know, I'm personally happy. I never really did a social media, especially young, because if somebody would go through social media and find something that I had uploaded, especially talking like that, how, you know, we all talked back in 2010 era and being a young kid, especially saying, talking with sort of the same mannerisms, how Eugenia is using like the like and um, but oh my gosh, you know what I mean? I think it would be extremely embarrassing. And I feel bad that Eugenia has these videos still circulating around to Facebook. I'm sure she forgot about Facebook too with her whole Twitch era. So I'm sure I didn't even cross her mind to, you know, try to go through and delete old videos. And again, I'm not saying this is like speaking for her now because she was a kid whenever this was done. And I'm not judging her for being 15. And 
you know, that's just something I want to say now. I'm not judging her for being a kid. I just find it interesting the things, the things that she's saying, especially she has dealt with bullying, knowing how bad it feels. And it seems to me that she's doing the one, she's the one who's doing a little bit of bullying. And these videos were from so long ago and there is no real context to the videos. It's kind of just like how you would Snapchat your friend. You kind of just you listen to the response and you kind of just send them a quick video back going off of the response. We don't know what they're talking about. So that's again, just speculation, but I think it's interesting that she talks about how she was severely bullied in school. And then there's certain videos from her back when she was attending school. And it seems like she had a kind of a wicked attitude too, especially as her peers. Like, like, ew, I can't believe you talk to her. Ew, I just saw your new one. And it's like, ew, I'm not going to that because I hate her so much. And ew, I can't believe Nancy's mother is going, you know, she's still like, what was with her? And she's so, she kind of talks like this. <laughs> like, ew, I hate her so much. Like, don't, I tell her that I died so I can't go. Bye. I just want to bring this up because I find it really interesting that that's Eugenia's real voice. You know what I mean? Like, it's like that, oh, hi, guys. Like, oh, yeah, I'm just doing a live. You know, it's like really weird, like, really high-pitched voice that she puts on during a lot of her live streams. And, oh, it would give me a headache if I had to talk like that all day. I don't understand how she powers through or how she did power through all those countless hours of live streams or she would respond and talk like that. But I just find it very interesting. I feel like this is the first time we've heard her talk normally <laughs> just normal not in a high-pitched voice just having a conversation that's doesn't seem forced by any means and again I find it interesting the tone that Eugenia is speaking in it's very much giving me she was a mean girl in school vibe I think she said something about punishment and I think she knows I'm not dead so just like tell her tell her that um I moved to like Africa there's certain things in this video that I can't really tell what she's saying fully because she is from Boston so she does have a little bit of an accent she'll pronounce things differently than how I'm used to pronouncing them so sometimes I'm like wait what'd she say but there's okay a couple things that I find interesting that she's talking about during these voice clips or um little video shorts that she's sending to her friend and one thing that she just said here that I found a little bit interesting is she said something about she said something about punishment so I think she knows I'm not really you know what I mean like jokingly so I don't know. I find that a little bit interesting that she said that. And then there's also something else she said in this video that's about to be coming up. And it sounded like she said to bring lingerie, lingerie, which is how she pronounced it. But I don't know what else lingerie would be. Maybe you can, maybe you can pretend to be me and you can go instead. Bye. This is like really bad because she's moving there in two days. And I'm going to have to see her. So Okay, how about I make you a video pretending to be, like, my, my parent or something? Hey, my vibes are shifting, and my intuition, me, I need to, like, use Google Translate or something to, like, really get the, get all her, like, transcript from this video and just, like, read it, because I want to see what she's really saying and put, like, context to it a little bit, even though there really isn't any context. I think some of the things she's saying could be concerning if you look at it at a certain standpoint which i just find everything in her life to be extremely disturbing so it draws reason for concern but some of the things that she's saying in this video and i don't know if you guys are really like hearing the things that she's saying but there's a few trigger words in there that i'm like what is she really hinting to like what is she not wanting to go to what is she really talking about because there's some words in there that i'm like that seems weird hi i, I just saw her new one and she told me to bring her lingerie, so I think she's gonna like wait me or something. Like I don't know what I should do. I, I think she's gonna find me. She might be like I don't know where. But I, I hate her so much. Well, I did try to structure this video a little bit at the beginning and go off on the note, and we were gonna be looking through these old videos of her to see if she was the bully. But I'm thinking. The situation just seems weirder than I thought it was going into the video. And now that I'm listening to, like, some of the, these clips now to react to, I'm like, what the hell are they talking about? And what is she trying to avoid so heavily? Because that doesn't sound like just, like, a normal sleepover or something. Like, if they hate each other, why are they going to, you know, hang out? I don't know. And did she say lingerie? Lingerie? I, I, can't, I couldn't really understand that word, but I found it a little bit interesting that she was talking about that if that was the word that she had brought up I don't know you guys I think I'm gonna make a part two to this video and like use google transcript to kind of like 
break down the text and then we'll kind of just read the read the text off and try to piece some puzzle pieces together because this whole video just doesn't make sense to me and y'all are probably like free vogue you just wasted like 10 minutes of my life with like a non-tent video i know i'm so sorry my bad really i really thought this video was gonna be different going into it but now i'm really just questioning the text but I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. <laughs> I'm really bored and I just kind of wanted to hop on here and do this and look at this video and talk about it with you guys. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the little hangout session. I hope I didn't waste entirely the last 10 minutes of your life. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next non-tent video.